What's going on guys? For anyone interested in learning more about the Winnebago Echo 22A, watch this video. I'm going to go through this unit behind me which is a 2024 Winnebago Echo 22A straight from the Winnebago factory. Let's go. So I want to start by talking about the chassis that this unit is built on. The Ford Transit chassis is an incredible chassis. It's a really quiet, smooth ride. A lot of the uh, other motorhomes, uh, B vans and Cs, uh, are built on the Ford E350 or either the Ram Promaster for the Class Bs. But the Ford Transit chassis, I think, is a superior chassis. It's a very stable chassis. It's a quiet ride, and let's show you some of the features of the outside. So. So first of all, let's talk about the decals on this unit. As you can see, the Echo is just such a sleek unit. I love the color schemes, I love the patterns, I love the finishings. Uh, very, very quality motorhome. This is one of, the, one of the most expensive motorhomes you can buy. It is true four season. The Winnebago Echo is very well insulated. Uh, you can live in a Canadian winter in the Echo if you have your propane uh, because everything is heated, it's well insulated. I'm gonna show you that in a minute, but let's go around to the outside Side, I'll show you some of the awesome features here. So right off the bat, I want to show you the quality of the Winnebago Echo. So look at how thick this door is. If you feel this door, it is absolutely so sturdy. It's very heavy. It's built so solid. And uh, this is what makes it for season is the extra insulation all throughout this coach, the body of this coach. Uh, the door latches here to stay um, secured so it doesn't blow uh, forth back and forth. You also have this metallic great magnetized screen that slides in and out like this, magnetized to the door. Winnebago's really good at using the magnet systems. So if you have pets, they're not going to scratch up against this or ruin this. But this Winnebago door, it's built like a, a Brinks truck. It's almost like a vault door. It's very heavy, very sturdy and that's what gives it its insulation. So moving on to the storage bays under this unit, you've got rubberized um, platforms here, as well as your uh, water hookup uh, for shower, uh, quick connect there, and all insulated in through this unit, uh, heating ducts uh, so that you can actually uh, monitor your temperature in your storage bays. Uh, moving along, you've got your um, satellite TV hookup, as well as your uh, 12 volt, as well as your 110s in through there. And I want to mention a few things. So in this unit, you'll notice, so this is your propane. You got uh, a spot for uh, two 20 pound tanks in here, which will keep the coach warm. Uh, if you are doing extended season or winter camping in the Echo, you want to make sure stock up on propane because you'll need that pumping the whole time to distribute uh, heat evenly throughout the coach to keep everything insulated. Again, look how thick these doors are. I want to show you the latches on this. So the cool thing about the Echo, is you latch them once and now the door is secured, but when you turn them a second rotation, it actually tightens everything and you can really feel the quality of how secure those, um, those doors are. So uh, the other thing to mention is the Winnebago Echo has the Truma AquaGo, so tankless hot water, on-demand hot water. You have a little dial uh, monitor inside to monitor that. Then you also have your main storage compartment in through here. And what I really like the finishings, you have this great to tie down bungee cords. Uh, you also have this rubberized mat that runs all along. You can take that out easy to walk. You got bikes or all your uh, camping gear or hiking gear. You have tie downs on this unit all the way through uh, so that you can bungee cord and tie things down. You've got an AC ducted system so that you can keep this unit cooled. All of your storage compartment can stay cool or you can pump heat through the heater in through here and keep everything warm. You've got 110s as well as your 12 volt as well as uh, lighting throughout the coach. So nice solid unit. Ladder to the roof, a really solid ladder. I'm gonna show you what's on this roof. Three solar panels on this roof, as well as your AC, as well as your antenna. So two of those panels are 170 watts and one of them is 115, that one right there. So, so then in through the back, you have your, uh, your really nice uh, gas strut. Um, container you can stand under here if it's raining you can get food out of here or you can get all of your uh, belongings here you've got your uh, your 30 amp power cord but a, a huge storage space to bring your gear in and out love that feature 
look at the quality of the finishings on this. It just like, you walk around this unit, you feel this unit, and you just feel how solid it is, how well built it is, how well insulated it is. And uh, love, the, love the design, love the color scheme. Like I mentioned, the graphics pattern, the green here on this Echo. That's your, uh, so that's your other uh, pass-through storage uh, as well. So that's great. You also have your sensors here on your unit because this Ford Transit has lane assist, it has adaptive cruise control, you've got collision detection, just a lot of good safety features of this unit. So I wanna also point out that these are double pane acrylic windows. So they're very well insulated. Uh, when we go inside the coach in a moment, you'll see how they latch and how tight those seals are around those windows. Because if you're, if you're in a Canadian winter or you're traveling in a really cold environment or even a really hot environment, uh, it's really going to um, help keep the coach insulated. And uh, if you're running the AC inside, it's not gonna uh, bleed cool outside and, and the heat's not gonna come inside the coach. So in through here is your wet bay, okay? So this is your potable water fill right here. Uh, and then notice how this is your heating duct all through here. So this is gonna keep everything nice and, and warm uh, so that nothing freezes. So you've got your shower hookup here, your winterization uh, compartment here. This is your city water hookup. And then you've got your gray drain right there. Um, and I'll show you why there's no black drain is because in this Winnebago Echo, you actually have a cassette toilet. So for those of you who are wondering what a cassette toilet is, you can unlatch this. That's where you take your toilet out. Uh, you lose a little bit of a capacity in the tank in a, in a um, cassette toilet, but you don't need to be at a campground to dump your waste. You can go into, uh, pull into a truck stop somewhere, uh, grab your uh, toilet, go into the bathroom and just dump it right there. Super convenient. If you're camping off grid, you can dump this in uh, many more convenient places. You don't have to be at a campground. So, so this is your 30 amp right here. You have a little hookup for um, uh, portable solar if you wanted to. Um, and then here on this Echo, you actually get the 28 100 i onan uh, quiet generator so this is going to run off the gas tank of the unit and it's it's nice and quiet uh, you're going to be able to to off-grid camp and have power anywhere you go you don't need to be plugged into a campground so that's super convenient uh, this unit also has the lithium batteries on it so in here you're actually getting your lithium battery system in through here. So that, that solar is actually gonna keep all your batteries uh, charged so you can go a long time on these lithium batteries. All right guys, now that we've seen some of the features of the outside of the Winnebago Echo 22A, we're gonna go inside. Let's go. So, right when you walk in, you just notice the spaciousness of the main living area here. Now these are uh, cushions for the front of the seats. I'm gonna put those uh, in the front, but I just wanna show you how spacious this front living quarter is. You can sit here, two people, one person. This table is what lifts up and then boom. You've got your workstation here. If you're working from the road, it's at a good height. I like that and super easy to put up and down. So. We'll get that out of the way. Uh, you've got some nice storage here overhead. This is your shade for, uh, for the front. Uh, and this is just gonna clip on to right here. Uh, but yeah, you've got storage in through there. You've got 110s, you can hook up a TV. Uh, so really nice grab and go storage up through there. And again, you got some more storage in through here. And look at the coach. Look at how nice everything is. The LED screen, big LED screen, the view from the driver and passenger seat. These two seats obviously uh, do swivel around. I'll show you that in uh, two seconds here. So this is what the jumper uh, little booster is so that your legs are kind of at a 90 degree angle. This is a lagoon table. It'll swivel around and you can actually work here. You can swivel this seat so you can actually, it's a really nice place for four people to just lounge on a rainy day. Let me show you uh, a little bit of the storage up through here. Uh, really nice strong latches. Uh, everything feels very secure. I love the finishings of the wallpaper that they used here, the, the nice patterns. So there are some nice overhead storage there and 
then in through here is where all of your systems are. So this is your solar controller, this is your inverter, and then this is where your coach battery, your tank levels, your generator, and your water pump will be. And then down here, this is where you control the coach battery, the step, and your lighting in the coach uh, through here. So uh, just a basic stainless steel sink, nothing too fancy there. You got two burner propane stove, which is nice. All this storage drawers in through here, storage under here. You've got a storage compartment up through here for plates, and you obviously have your microwave there. Now, you also have a nice little pantry area with removable shelves in through here. But everyone's favorite part of the Winnebago Echo is the bathroom. So let me show you here, let me turn on the light and show you why people love this bathroom so much. So this is the Winnebago bathroom. Look at this. If you wanna shower, Winnebago's kind of patented this, uh, this reverse system. So you have a lot of room in through the shower here. You've got your curtain, a uh, really nice big shower. So you can shower and then when you're done showering, all you do is you move this back like this. And now you can use the bathroom. You've got a window here. You've got more storage in through there and you can wash your hands and everybody's happy. So. so I will also mention that this has a 5.3 cubic foot fridge. So a very decent size uh, refrigerator as well as uh, a little freezer there as well. So the Norcold system. So now moving into the bedroom, I really like that you have these steps here. So, you know, you can lounge, you can sit down and this actually, this bed lifts up. So the twin configuration you can actually uh, access some of your storage from here. Uh, you don't have to pull the drawer out. And then there's more storage back in through there. You can uh, put a little something there for your valuables uh, if you want. So I'll close that up. And like I said, you've got the twin bed configuration. So the two full twins on the side, uh, I'm six feet tall, 5'11". And here you've got your, um, this is your, your puzzle piece to make a king bed, but this actually has cup holders. So you can actually just flip that around and be lounging in bed. You can mount a TV on this wall here if you wanted, and you've got your cup holders. But at night, all you do is flip this around. So that just sits right in there. And now you have a king size bed. You can sleep this way or you can sleep this way. So as I was saying earlier, these dual pane uh, acrylic style windows, European acrylic windows, all these latches, look how well secured they are. So, and look how wide they open. You can open the window that wide. You can, it has night and day shades. So this is your screen. The airflow that you can get through this coach at night is absolutely amazing. You oftentimes don't even need the air conditioner. So very simple and look how well these uh, secure all of these are fastened you need to make sure that they're all secured and those are your uh, your windows so uh, also you'll notice the AC system in here uh, this is you can vent it all throughout this coach uh, you can also uh, you have your blue lights in through here as well if you hold them they'll turn into reading lights there all right, so that's the main bedroom. Here you've got your thermostat, uh, your Truma Aqua Go hot water, uh, tankless hot water. You've got your lighting here. So that's it guys, an amazing unit, the Winnebago Echo 22A. If you have any more questions about this amazing four season motorhome, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'm Joel, talk to you soon.